What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And after the humiliating loss, the humiliating showing of the massive, earth-shattering walkout that uh, the single Disney staff member out of 200,000 uh, did. Well, to be fair, it was about 120 out of 200,000. So, you know, I suppose you could do the percentages there. But uh, now, these delusional entitled children are, are are literally making more demands they're demanding that disney stop building rides in florida like imagine being wanting you know wanting to be taken seriously and then rolling out demands like that you'd have to be an absolute moron which of course i believe that those behind this walkout are uh, and it's just been just a, a wonderful, wonderful, chaotic mess to watch um, from here. And, uh, you know, we'll get into the story of a quick word from Count Dankula's favorite sponsor of mine. Huge shout out to this video's sponsor, Established Titles. Established Titles is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in english they allow people to buy as little as one square foot of dedicated land so they can call themselves a lord or a lady officially in return they commit to plant a tree with every order and protect the beautiful pristine woodlands of scotland established titles makes an absolutely amazing gift and a person could officially get their name changed on documents their title pack gives you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate and an official certificate with a crest. Established Titles is currently having a really big sale just for you, my subscribers. You can get an additional 10% off any purchase you make with the discount code THEQUARTERING. So click the link below, go to EstablishedTitles.com slash THEQUARTERING and use promo code THEQUARTERING to save an extra 10% today. Disney workers threaten more strikes unless firm stops building attractions in Florida, including Guardians of the Galaxy ride and a Tron roller coaster in protest to the state's anti-groomer bill. The upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy and Tron roller coasters are just two projects in the pipeline at Disney World that could be delayed if employees who are protesting the company's response to Florida's anti-grooming bill get their way. Protesters have asked the company to halt donations to politicians involved in the passage of the bill, such as Ron DeSantis. Hey, here's one thing I agree with and I've always agreed with since the beginning of covering this. I don't want Disney making any political donations. I mean, I think, uh, you know, I don't want I want all of my corporations apolitical. I want them to just provide me the best possible product and charge me the most the most reasonable amount of price uh, dollars for it. The legislation officially called the parental rights bill. We're not going to go through that. Critics say that the open-ended language, which prevents quote classroom discussion of the topics that would prevent children from confiding in their teachers. If they feel unsafe because of their identity, by the way, in first grade, second grade and third grade. Sorry, teachers, you aren't the parents. Isn't that like, kind of what we're talking about here. It seems like, you know, that these teachers think that they have the right to parent these children. Sorry, I don't want my teacher, however, you know, good you are at uh, getting kids to not eat glue. Uh, no, I don't want you talking to my kid or my friend's kids or any kids about orientation or any of that nature. Teach them how to do addition, subtraction, you know, reading, writing, arithmetic, right? That's, that's, you know, this country is in with the West, first of all, in particular, the United States is trash in terms of these studies. Uh, if you want to take a minute, just look at what homeschooling or what the lockdowns have done to our levels of education. It's abysmal. We're raising stupid kids now because teachers are more obsessed with getting their TikToks uh, likes than teaching kids. It's not their fault. It's not the kid's fault. DeSantis, however, says the bill aim is aimed to aim to empower parents and their children's education and make teachers recognize the distinction between instruction and discussion. Disney employees have called with the company. We already know that. Despite these concessions, employees still look to take still took part in the company wide walkout. One person um, all the way out in L.A., about 60 gathered in a park outside L.A. Reuters reports. 
and a dozen other employees walked off their jobs in the company studio in Burbank. So 72, 73 total, official count now. Less than 100 worldwide out of 190,000. Let's just call it 200,000 because it's funnier. The Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind is set to open this summer at Disney's Epcot Park. Epcot? Does anybody even go to Epcot anymore? The Tron Legacy Light Cycle Run Ride does not yet have an opening date, but the park says it started testing the ride vehicles on the tracks. That looks kind of cool, actually. Dozens of employees marched outside Disney's headquarters in Burbank. Um, Cosmic Rewind will be Disney's first ever reverse launch coaster. It will also rotate riders in their cars as they race down the track. According to the company's Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, is a family-friendly adventure. Ooh, you know they hate that. Featuring a totally new type of roller coaster experience, we're developing just for this attraction. It's a story coaster that rotates 360 degrees. So you're always focused on all the action as you help the Guardians save the galaxy. The semi-enclosed Tron ride is a version of the Light Cycle Power Run ride that opened back in 2016 in Shanghai. Um, you know, the idea that, you know, along with this, sorry, it's unclear what projects will be used, uh, will be through the addresses. Wait, it's unclear what the projects will be, though the addresses listed are used by Gaston's Tavern and VR guest eateries in the park. There's more permits that they applied for things. Um, you know, it's funny because we're seeing in real time just how little power these lunatics have. You know, it's like, imagine. And then, and yesterday, enraged Disney employees say their beliefs are coming under attack in open letter calling the company to be, quote, politically neutral as Raven Simone and the cast of Raven's Home join walkout over Florida's stupid anti-grooming bill. That's their words, not mine. Raven Simone, who? Literally who? Oh, wow. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people. That's a lot of Raven. It's a lot of forehead, too. Anyway, they also had more conservative and centrist leaning employees yesterday come out and say that, hey, we don't want you to be political at all. What's up? We're the cast at Raven's Home and the EP's executive producers, and we're talking out today in support of this ridiculous bill. She said, she said, we love everyone, support everyone. We out, we walking out. In a caption, she added, this is Raven Simone. In today's world, it's imperative that we take stands, show support, and move forward, not backwards. Every family, every person, and every child deserves to be recognized no matter the... Re okay, fine. It's just such a weird thing that, like, these lunatics are using this as a soapbox to talk about nothing to do with the bill. It's like a lot of these uh, like slacktivists saw that the, there was a nice spring weather out, so they decided to just make up a cause. Like literally, this bill, what they're saying, like every one of these NPCs, when they speak out against the bill, clearly haven't read it. And the idea that you would make more demands is absolutely positively hilarious. The list of demands coming from, and now we see how many people, a hundred people, a hundred people, protest organizers calling for an end to all construction and investment in the state of Florida until the legislation is repealed. You're joking, right? These clowns actually think that what they're going to airlift Disneyland out of Florida and put it in California. There's already one there. What's another lunatic leftist state? Oregon? Shout out to my Oregon viewers, but you know, come on. This whole thing has been a hilarious cope. And um, hopefully we've kind of seen the end of it because I don't even know how to reconcile really how stupid these people are. They're very stupid. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.